Greetings! In this video we're going to be talking about advanced Python graph features. Basically, in the previous videos we talked about doing simple drawings, static drawings, and animations. Now we're going to talk about things that aren't necessarily graphics related, but will help you make more interactive graphical programs. Specifically, in this video we're going to be talking about mouse input, keyboard input, music and sound. And yes, there is a difference between music and sound, and I'll show it to you in this video. Let's just start off. Uh, the first thing we'll talk about is mouse input. There's basically two things you can do with the mouse. You can get its uh, the coordinates and you can determine if a mouse button has been pressed. So I have a very simple program here where when I press it, it's just all it does is it shows me a blank screen and we're going to get the mouse's coordinates. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over here and I'm going to get the mouse coordinates. I'm going to create two variables and I'm going to set them equal to Python graph dot uh, get mouse x. So this function gets the x coordinate and then get mouse y gets the y coordinate. And then we're for grins, we're just going to print it off so you can see it. So when I press play here, you'll notice in the bottom left corner of my screen that the, the numbers represent the mouse's x and y coordinate. And it makes sense. I get smaller when I'm in the top left corner, bigger when I'm in the bottom right. Okay. The next thing we can do is detect whether or not a button is pressed or if it's down or it's released. And those are three different events. So pressed is the moment that the mouse button clicks. Down is the duration for which uh, the mouse button is held down. And then released is the moment that the mouse button is released. It unclicks. All right? Each of these functions returns either true or false depending upon whether or not that event has occurred. So for example, let's say that I want to draw something uh, if the mouse button is pressed. All right, so I could do something, for example, and say if the Python graph dot uh, mouse button pressed, and then here I can put either I can put left, right, or center depending on what mouse button I care about. So I'm just going to put left, and then I'm going to go over here and just say if I that ever happens, go ahead and draw a circle at the mouse's x and mouse's y coordinate and let's set the uh, radius to 5 let's do a random color and then let's make it a, a filled circle so if I press play here blank screen every time I click something appears all right now if I let's say oh notice that by the way when I if I was to click and hold notice that only one circle is pressed that's because that uh, pressed is only true the instant the mouse button is clicked. So if I want to have it draw all the time it's held down, I need to change it to mouse button down. That returns true as long as the mouse button is down. So now I can do this. Okay, so that's fun. What else we got? Keyboard. Keyboard events are exactly the same. Just the different function names and what you can put in here is different. So instead of left, right, and center, you can put letter keys, you can put arrow keys, and or function keys. So as a quick demonstration of that, why don't I'm going to make a variable here, uh, tracks uh, the circles radius, and then I'll just say circle radius, and I'll set it equal to five. And instead of drawing a circle that's always five uh, pixels in radius, I'm going to make it be a variable amount. And now, if the Python graph dot uh, key pressed, let's say it's the right arrow key, then I'm going to take the circle radius and I'm going to add five to it. And if you press the other way, so here it's going to be the left key, then we'll go ahead and decrease the radius by five. So now when I press play, I have a program that that looks fine. Now I'm going to press the right key a couple times and then now I have a lot bigger circles and if I press the left key I have smaller circles. So you can see how I can control this application by using keyboard inputs and again I just picked right or left you can pick whatever you want. All right. The last thing we're going to talk about is music and sound. So music you can think of music as like background music. It, it's a mp3 file, it's a song you want to play over and over and over. So for example, uh, if I wanted to do, um, if I wanted to play some music, what I could do here is I could go and say, 
Um, and actually, I'll do it based off of a key press. So I can have Python graph dot key pressed, and I will just say if you press the M key for music, then I will go ahead uh, play. I will play music, and then here I just put the name of the music file. So I just happen to have one in the same folder as my code. It's called uh, music dot mp3. Uh, I'll do the same thing for sound. Why not? Well, since we're here. And I'll do it when I press S, I can press play a sound. So I'll play the sound effect, and this one just happens to be called sound.wave. And again, both of these files are in the same folder as my code. So when I press play, what you will notice here is that I have it does this when I and then I press the right arrow, it gets bigger, and when I press S, it plays sound effects. And when I press M, it plays music. You know what? I, I like it so much I'm going to keep it for the rest of this lesson. So like I said, background music is basically for any song that you want to play in the background repeatedly. And sound effects are things that are shorter in duration. So stuff like a laser blast or some sort of sound effect. You can have lots of sound effects at the same time, but you can only have one background music at a time. So that's it. Um, this lesson is entirely intended to make Python Graph a little bit more entertaining for you all. Uh, you can make a lot more interactive applications, so we encourage you to try it all, uh, play some nifty music, uh, and otherwise just have fun. Thanks for watching, take care, and we hope you enjoyed this video.